Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, in this video, we're gonna be having a look at the US stock market and the Dow Jones and the other indices as well too. So one thing I wanna share with you is that there is a really, 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 one of, the, one of the most important things that I've learned when reading the market and reading the charts, we can look at the daily chart, okay? So look at this, look at this chart here, and let me just take everything off the screen here. And firstly, the most important thing to you as a trader, it's not indicators. As you can see, right, I only have volume down here, which I don't even really use volume when I come to the indices, and the moving average. And I use one moving average to tell me you know, the overall momentum and so on and so forth, trend and stuff, stuff like that. But the most important thing to you as a trader is the chart itself. So we look at the daily chart, okay? Now, the daily chart is what we call the short-term picture. We can see what's happening right now on the daily chart. Small little pullback, a bit of a, and a small little drop down through here. Though one of the most important things to you as a trader is always keep an eye on that weekly chart because that weekly chart is is that bigger picture and it's always giving you some sort of a guidance on what's going on in the markets. And what I mean by that is that if the weekly chart is telling us something right now, now remember what we want to do is we, we always want to read the market for what it's telling us right now, then come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and always continue to read the market with a non-biased view. Don't it's so important. If you want to be a successful trader long term, you look at the market on a non-biased view. You don't have any, because if you go to the market with it with a biased view, guess what? You're going to find reasons to back up that view, right? And then if you have a bearish view, you're going to back up reasons why you're going to have a bearish view. If you have a bullish view, you're going to back up reasons why you're going to have a bullish view. Now, what does that automatically do? that stops you from seeing the truth in the markets, right? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the pundits, what the talking heads out there say, they don't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow, you don't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow, and you're trying to predict what's going to happen tomorrow or next week, you never know, right? But what can you do? Let's actually read the market for what, it te what, what it's telling us right now, and when we do that, guess what? We're now listening to the truth and then it's our job as a trader when we're reading the charts and reading the market to flow with the market, right? Flow with the market. As the market is flowing, um, we need we need to go with that. And if the if the if the story is you know the trend is up right now and we're just having a nice pullback, then that's the tr that that's the story. But if that story changes, we need to change with it. Make sense? As traders, this is. Investors, if you're hold, buy and hold for long term, well, that's a completely different story. If you're holding something for long, 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 long term, you know, one, two, three years, whatever, that's a completely different. But if, for people that are active in the markets, you're trading the markets, then it's our job to continue to read what's going on right now with a non-biased view. It's like, okay, market, I have no idea what's going on right now, but tell me what's going on. So for example, if we look at the, if we look at the Dow Jones right now, what do we have in the Dow Jones? If we take everything off the screen here, what do we have here on this, this weekly chart here? We have what? We have a very strong run up, right? Now, this is not my opinion. This is the facts in the market, right? What do we have here? We have a, let me go green here, right? We have a very nice strong run up, don't we? So we had a very big move up through here. And now look what, what, look what we're getting through here. We're getting what? We're getting just a nice pullback through here, right? So is, now let me ask you a question. When it comes to the last two legs so far on this weekly chart, remember the weekly chart is the big picture. That daily chart, you know, you can get a lot of fart assing around on that daily chart, right? A lot of noise. But the weekly chart can give you a much more clearer path, so to speak. On this weekly chart, which one is more stronger, right? We have, a, we have, this, we have this buying leg here. And we have this selling leg. So if you had to, if you had to look at which out of these two legs right now, because that's all that matters, right? Is what's happening right now, the buyers and the sellers, because that's all we're looking at. Who, who's more don in this in this situation right now as we speak right now? Now remember, it could change two or three weeks from now. That could completely change. But right now, which leg is more dominant and more stronger? The buyers, right? So. Therefore, what do we have here? We have strong buyers, weak sellers. Now, how does a market work? 
it goes for a run, then it has a pullback, and then it goes for a run, and then it has a pullback, right? So this level through here, and even, even a bit lower, still could be classed as what? A nice, healthy pullback before we potentially go for one of the upsides. Now, I'm not saying we're going, we're definitely going to do that. We need to wait for, I need to wait for a bit. I need to wait for this thing to start to, start to confirm up like that. If we start to get a high low through here and then we pick up, yeah, then I say we're likely to break new highs and so on and so forth. But I need to wait for this weekly chart to turn around. Makes sense, right? So whenever we're reading the markets, always what, I, what I'm looking for is the truth. I'm looking for what, what we call the psychology of the market. And the psychology of the market is like, okay, I have no idea what's going to happen, right? And I don't try to predict the market. Every time I've done that, I've always got my rear end, my biggest asset handed to me. You know what I'm talking about, right? My ass. Um, <laughs> and I've learned not to try to predict, but to respond to what the market is doing right now. Makes sense? Um, and respond to my trading setup. When there's a trading setup, get into it, have good risk management, and so on and so forth, right? So that's what's happening right, and, and, and when we're looking at the indices, that there, we have a look at the S&P 500, same thing, right? Look at this here. We have what? We have, this is the selling leg, and then what do we have here? I'm gonna bring up the green here, and then this here, from there to there, is the buying leg. You have, a, you have the buying leg and the selling leg, thus far. Remember, we trade what we see, not what we think, hope, or fear, right? Not predicting, but responding, listening to the market, because the market's always right, right? Oh, the market's manipulated and blah, blah, blah. Who gives a shit, right? Listen to the market. Look at the last two legs. Right now, as I speak, which leg is more dominant? Which leg is more stronger? Forget what you think, which leg is more dominant? Clear the buyers, right? So, in that case, in that case, this could just be a nice pullback in what? In a nice upward trend, because that's how the markets work. And through here, we could be getting some sort of high low. I'm not saying the high low is gonna kick in right now. I don't know. I wait for the market to tell me, but if the market does start to give me a high low through here, guess what? Nice strong buying move. We have strong buyers, weak sellers. Therefore, if we start to pick up, a new high is likely to break and we're likely to go for another run before I believe, because I do believe, yes, we're going to start a recession the next couple of years, but we don't know when, okay? So you, you as an active trader, right? Because most of you guys that are watching my videos are active traders, right? You're getting in, you're getting out, and so on and so forth. Um, and so do I. I also have a long, I also, I also have longer term strategies that I do as well too, where I'm holding for 12 months, two years. Um, and I don't really care where it goes when that happens. Uh, but I'll talk about that a bit later on. But when... When uh, when I'm active trading, right? We we need to we need to respond to what the market is telling right now, right? Because we don't really care, right? Us traders, we don't really care what's where what what's what's going to happen six months from now, or what the fundamentals are saying. Who cares, right? All I care about is I want to get in today, and is there a high probability chance that I can hold for one to five days, or you know maybe maybe a couple of weeks, pick up a really good really really good percent return with my trade, and then go do it again and again and again. Makes sense. That's what the most important thing is there. So always be looking for. Who's more dominant in the market right now? And then, hey, as I said before, a couple of weeks from now, we could start to change that tune. And it's our job to listen to the market without any biased view. Hey traders, thanks for watching my YouTube video. You know that there's a lot of areas in the trading arena, right? To, for you to become a good trader, right? There's the trading systems, there's the chart reading strategies, there's the foundations, the mindset, and there's so many areas, right? You need to really understand in order for you to become a good trader. So that's what I've created the Master Trader Lab. I put everything in there for you to become a really, really good trader. And I'm giving you a free trial. So if you go to mastertraderlab.com and you can grab a free trial to this and start learning the chart reading strategies, the trading systems, the mindset, so much more in there and start to learn the skills to become what I call a master trader. So go to mastertraderlab.com.